hungry to be here at La Meridian's the latest recipe. I'm Diana Hashim and I'm gonna give you a couple of tips and tricks on a house and tricks on a house and tricks on a house. Hey, what's up guys? This is Diana from Fungry TV and we're here at La Meridian's latest recipe. Now we are going to teach you a couple of tips and tricks on how to attack the buffet. Let's go! Rule number one. First and foremost, you have to scan the place properly. And I mean when scanning, walk everywhere and look for the most expensive thing on the menu. Seafood is probably one of the most expensive things you'll find at the buffet spread so you can definitely get a little bit of your shellfish, your prawns, your crabs, your oh, so many things. Don't be fooled by the sushi, it's got so much rice in it and that's why it will probably make you feel full a lot faster so you'll probably end up having like one or two dishes. What's the point? Ain't nobody got time for that. Sashimi, on the other hand, can be quite expensive at most restaurants, so definitely load up. This is for me. This is cheese. Cheese is generally quite expensive. Cheese is good. to buffets, avoid carbohydrates at all costs. So I suggest avoid the rice in order for you to be able to eat all of these tasty dishes and be okay with it. Don't they look really really tasty and thirst quenching? Well, we suggest that you don't drink water at all because it's too filling and after that you really don't want to eat a single thing. Oh hey! Finally, it's about portioning. By taking only a spoonful of everything, you'll be able to try the entire spread. will help you with your buffet ninja skills and if you happen to enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe to Fungry TV. See ya!